Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey peeps, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sword, otherwise known as Katana Crossing, and today I have a lot to catch you guys up on with this island. As you can obviously see, there's been a lot of progress that has been made. I've played a lot off camera, but I've also filmed a lot of footage of like let's plays but there's so much footage that i decided for today's video we're gonna just do like a voiceover let's play just to catch y'all up um i will still be doing regular let's plays in the future but just there's so much that has happened that we just need like a chill voiceover let's play and that's what we're doing today so i hope you guys enjoy so if you want to find out who our first campsite visitor was who our new villagers are the progress we've made since hitting three stars and unlocking terraforming then keep on watching and yeah without further ado we're just gonna jump right into this so as you guys know you have to take your first campsite visitor so who did we get your boy pietro we got pietro and honestly i'm not mad about it i'm really not because there's not a lot of smug villagers that I love in this game. I really like Quilson and I like Shep, but other than those two, I would say Pietro is like third on the list. So honestly, I'm excited. I've never had him before on an island as far as I can remember. And he looks like he he's gonna be a lot of fun, you know? He's ready for, for the tropical scenery. And even though we're not keeping him, he's gonna be fun to have around for sure. Like he's gonna be the jokester, the, the life of the party, you know, I can already see it. He's His personality is great, so I don't know. Let me know, what do you guys think? I feel like he's a good, good forced campsite visitor. So at this point, this is what the map is looking like. Um, these are the villagers we have. A lot of these villagers I found on stream. I usually do my villager hunting on streams. So if you're ever interested in joining like a live villager hunt, it's super fun, I do recommend. And um, a lot of times I will let chat like help me decide should I take this villager, but there are a lot of times where I also just make impulse decisions as you can see. So I decided I wanted to scan in one of my amiibo cards. So I scanned in Rio because she is my favorite new villager to come to New Horizons. I love her so much and I think she's gonna fit this island super well. So. You know, I just placed down my workbench. We got to starting to craft, trying to bribe her to come to the island per usual. So yeah, I don't know. I am really excited to invite her. She's got her little Fanta drink. Perfect. You know, she, she just fits the vibe. Um, so during this part, I literally, I, I sped it up times a million. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting sick. So yeah, if you if you feel dizzy or sick watching this, I'm so sorry. You can skip ahead. <laughs> um, but it is such a boring process. So I just I had to skip through this part. Honestly, I think scanning in the campsite visitors took up most of my footage from these let's plays, which is nuts. But finally, we bribed her to come to the island eventually. She realized, you know, she's the perfect fit. She's gonna come to the island. So next I scanned in Faith and don't worry this time I skipped through the footage because I was not about to put y'all through that again. But um, yeah, she's so cute. Just look how fitting she is. Her catchphrase is Aloha. She had the Fanta drink to another perfect tropical villager. So we went ahead and invited Faith onto the island. And the best part is we finally got to replace Coach, who absolutely does not belong here, nor does he belong on any future islands we ever do. I promise you this. Next day comes, Faith's moved in, we meet Drunk Oliver for the first time, it goes great, he's cute, I love him, he, I, he's just so funny, he's just so funny. So like I said, I did some things off camera. So I did unlock Abel's off camera. So I am able to get custom designs now, which is super nice. So I decided to go ahead and change my island flag. Of course, the name is Mango Leaf. So I, I just searched up mango and looked for something that would look cute, something that would be really fitting for the island. And this is the one I ended up going with. I just think it looks so cute and it's just gonna fit the whole vibe of the island 
and yeah this is what it looks like it's so cute i love it i think it also matches my airport really nicely because the airport's yellow so it just kind of like very matchy matchy and then of course you know i ran into pietro again i kind of want to get to know him a little bit before i kick him out he seems he seems interesting i don't want to get too attached though also fret is another villager i took on a stream the next day i did speed run to three stars off camera but i did get kk's the little concert on a little bit of footage of that so i don't know i just think it, it's so cute i had a lot of villagers i really liked being a part of this concert too which was nice because a lot of times i just have like random crappy starters and i don't know i just thought it looks so cute uh this is one of my favorite parts of like the beginning of the game and it was really nice to just kind of vibe to the music and enjoy it kind of at the pace that i wanted to so of course this leads to me finally unlocking terraforming nook realizes that i am the whole reason this island is thriving he gives me more more bills to pay, but most of all, I get to unlock terraforming now. Are we excited yet? Are, are we excited yet? So now it's it's um it's time. It's time, guys. The big day has come. We are eating fruit. I'm trying to get rid of trees because I think y'all know what is about to happen. I don't think I need to say it. I don't think I need to say it. But basically, I'm just making room for the new renovations. And, you know, I go in and the first path I'm unlocking is the sand path permit. Is this too much power for one person? Maybe. Maybe. Um, so yeah, this is when I go in and I just start... I just start placing down the sand just it's so monotonous i know it's so boring to watch and i'm not gonna make y'all just sit through this and watch me place down sand but i'm just gonna briefly explain what i'm doing so obviously since i'm doing a tropical island um i've done a bunch of these before so this summer i want to go all out on this island i want to fill the entire island with sand and just like every inch is gonna be sand it's gonna be palm trees it's gonna be amazing like i'm really trying to go all out on this island and i'm i'm really excited for it so most of this footage is just me like clearing out trees flowers getting rid of just items around the ground so that i can go ahead and just fill this whole area with sand is it gonna take me forever yes yes it will but will it be worth it also yes so pietro is just he's just chilling he's he's like should i help her out no no i'm just gonna drink my fanta that's what he's doing he's he's gonna be chilling here drinking a pina colada before he knows it he's on vacation and, and that's just how fast this all happened guys like um also ignore the furniture i just wanted to see like what it would look like for it to be all sand and just one furniture item i don't know i was just curious so you'll be able to see like my map slowly just turning you know that light shade of brown that in-game path it's gonna be so weird looking once the map is fully finished there might be a few specks of green here and there because like I said, the only trees I wanna have on this island are mainly coconut trees, but also I will probably leave some orange trees around the island as well since oranges are my native fruit and I don't know, I just feel like they would go on the island super well. But yeah, for now it's gonna look like a desert until we get things decorated, but I'm super excited to finally decorate and design this island and I think it's gonna be super fun. So yeah, we're just gonna be starting from a clean slate once I finally start decorating. Thank you all so, so much for watching and as you can see, this is the progress that we've made it's very bare very sandy honestly it looks like a desert right now um i'll show you my map once again really quickly so obviously my whole island is not yet covered in sand but it will be within the next few days yeah we are well on our way to being covered and i mean honestly like marina looks so fitting here with just all this sand it looks a little bit like we're under the ocean just like with this shot with marina 
we're just gonna stalk her no i'm kidding all right so i think i'm gonna end things right here but i hope you guys enjoyed this um this is pretty much what's going on with my island right now for some reason there's a ton of butterflies here now too which is really surprising because there's like no flowers nothing just just sand right now thank you for coming along on this journey i just wanted to update you guys and i promise i will have regular let's plays coming out as well i just this was just too much footage to put together as a regular let's play so let me know if you did like this style of video if not it's totally cool but yeah let me know in the comments also give this video video give this video a big like if you did enjoy it and make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you want to keep up with my channel you want to see more videos from me and if you want to join my streams i would love to have you um we do also have memberships so if you want to become a member on the channel you can either click the join button or there's the link in the description but again just liking videos and commenting are just like free ways to help your girl out so thank you so much if you made it all the way through this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you all in my next video or stream bye